Okay, let's, uh, uh, Fistful of Toes, let's go over shooting. Uh, there's um, Jezza, Jezza, Jeva. Oh, shoot, man, I forgot his channel name. There's 52 videos on uh, Fistful of Toes that he did just about the different phases, but I'll, I'll give it my touch as well, partially to help me learn the game. Um, so we're playing turn one of this game, this meeting engagement between the Americans and Germans. Remember, I made the Americans a higher quality because they have fewer people, because they're airborne, whatever. And, you know, the Sherman's supporting them. Maybe it's uh, during um, Market Garden or something. Anyway, so this Sherman is going to fire on this stand here. This stand of regular Germans in the woods. Remember, I'm using the simplified introductory rules. So they're going to, uh, he's going to fire on, uh, on that stand there. My, my uh, tripod keeps wanting to fall over here, so. All right, so if you look at the stats for the Sherman, the first thing you want to do is, you know, do they have line of sight? Yes, they do. Now, there's no spotting in this one. In the full, there's spotting, so I'm not sure they would even be able to see those guys in the regular game, but they can here, so that's cool. All this, a lot of things that revolve around the quality of your troops on quality checks on things, and it also benefits you in shooting. So the Sherman has a rate of fire. Uh, first of all, you can fire out to 10 inches. You can fire half of that, so five inches would be short range, so it'd be a, a benefit to hitting. Um, you can fire out to another one and a half on firing, so it'd be actually to 15. That 10 to 15 would be a penalty of minus one to hit, but it is about nine inches when I measured it out. Um, the rate of fire for the Sherman is three. So that means you're gonna roll three dice. Now, some people have a, the quality, the, the quality that these are, there's like uh, seven or so levels of quality in the full game, but there's three in this one. And uh, so with this particular one that the Americans are now, um, they get to add one rate of fire. So they're gonna roll four dice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how, how the roll ended, really ended up. Um, when I rolled the dice here, because I already rolled it out and finished it. Um, and also they get a bonus on the hit. So normally you just need a four to hit. So it's nice, always, it's always a four to hit. Unless there's some other modifiers there. One of those modifiers in the simple game is that if you have a high quality, you get a plus one to your, to hit. So they need a three plus to hit. Well, this is what I rolled. So they got four hits. Now, the troops are in the woods, and if they're two inches or f closer to the edge, they can be seen. They're on the edge, so they can be seen and they get the save. And when I s rolled to save those, two of them came up saves, so they rolled a five plus on two of them. So there were two left, two hits left. Now. In this case, what you do is you then um, have to roll a quality check uh, on the troops. So the Germans are a, let me make sure I got this right here. In this particular version, you can have different qualities. So the Germans aren't always something and the Russians or whatever, they're not, depends on the stage of war, the types of troops. So you can adjust that based on the scenario, which is pretty cool. Um, in this case, the German have a quality rating of four. They also get a to hit bonus, uh, but they do not get a rate of fire bonus. So they do not get an extra die when they throw, but they do get, you know, they will hit on a three plus as well. So they are going to take a quality check. I told you it's a four plus. So I have to roll a four plus on the die so that they can um, survive this hit. And I believe they, uh, let's look at that when they're done there. But if they fail the quality check, then they die. I really like this. Um, this is something I kind of like about Flames of War. It's kind of a pretty much an on off. You can be suppressed, good or gone. So you don't have a lot of markers. You're not keeping track of a lot of hits. Well, anyway, so you're gonna take a quality check and you wanna hit, um, let's get a different die out here. And I told you, you wanna get a, I need to get a four plus uh, on the die. Uh, yeah, so I need to get a four plus on the die for the Germans to survive this uh, shot or they'll get suppressed or, or die. Let's, but we'll check that in just a minute. However, when you have two hits that have got you, now you, it's a, now you reduce your die roll by one because you're one over. If I had two, it'd be minus two, three hits minus three. 
So in this case, because I have one extra hit to take over into consideration, is now I have to roll a five plus, right? Because um, yeah, I have to roll a five plus because if I don't, if I roll a four, it'll be minus one and then that would be a three plus and that's not enough to survive. Well, I rolled, when I rolled the die for that, and it didn't matter, I got a two. So the Germans died. So again, you roll to hit with some little bit of modifiers, perhaps not too many, not in the simple game anyway. So you you roll to hit on a four plus, and then if they're in terrain, you roll a save. If they're in the open, they do not get a save. And then if there are any hits remaining, then you roll a quality check on them. And this varies on stuff. And that quality check is based on the troops quality rating. In this case, the Germans are four. And then uh, there could be modifiers to that if they got more than one hit in. Now let's take a look real quick on the rules and I'll tell you if they would suppress. Just a minute. It appears that if I pass the quality check, they're fine. Um, and for artillery, you are suppressed. Uh, but that, that's a little different procedure. So in this case, the only way they get suppressed is through artillery fire. So obviously I want to be laying that down. Um, that's a little tougher. Well, not tougher, but anyway, so I'll need to do that to suppress. But otherwise, if there's suppressions, that impacts things. So in this case, they, they failed, so they are dead. So again, I really like that, and I kind of like that about Flames of War, and I've been like, how can I make Blitzkrieg Commander that way? But this turns out this could be this way. So anyway, that's uh, firing. Sorry for the long, a little bit longer than I hoped, but uh, firing and fistful of toes, the three introductory version.